seven years ago. Our fathers brought forth to this continent a new nation, conceived in liberty and dedicated to the prophecies and that all men were created equal. Now we are engaged in a great civil war, testing whether or not this nation or any other nation so conceived and so dedicated can long endure. We are met on a great battlefield of that war. We have, we have come to the con dedicate the portion of that field as a final resting place for those who have died that that nation might live. It is altogether fitting and proper that we should do that. But, in a large sense, we cannot dedicate, we cannot consecrate, we cannot hollow this ground. The brave men, living and dead, who struggled with it, have consecrated it far above the poor powers to add or detract. The world will little note nor long remember what was said here, but they can, they can never forget what they did here. It is for us, the living rather, to be dedicated here to the unfinished works which they have fought hard for thus far no nobly advanced. It is rather for us to be here dedicated to the great task remaining before us. That thought cause which for what they gave us the last full measure of devotion that we finally high I did resolve that the dead these dead shall not die in vain. That this nation under God shall have a new birth of freedom and that the government of the people, by the people, for the people, shall not have perished from the earth.